Don't wanna see my mother cry When you black it ain't no other side Your death is like my brother died Moment, helping hand, loan it The troops not here to pacify The struggles in my nuclei Won't it change a man to a dangerous man Especially when the bangers change in hand Survival evolving black men into another clan But there's no robes Just diamonds and earlobes And bitches that like to probe and code it Welcome to this episode of Craig Facts. Craig. Hello, him. Facts. Hey, man. Sorry about Tuesday's episode. We couldn't make the studio. The big homie's on vacation with his lovely wife. Shout out to Brown and his wife. We miss Shout y'all. Salute. Shout out to Brown. Safe Shout out to Brown. travels, man. Uh, shit, man. What's up with y'all, man? An extra day off. You know what I'm saying? Rest our voices. Got the rest. You know what I mean? Kick your feet up, watch some TV that I don't usually watch on Tuesdays. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah, what comes on to Because, you know, the only TV schedule that I, that's burned into my mind is the one when we was kids, TGA Fridays. <laughs> I can tell you, everything that yeah. came on. Yeah. First was uh, Family Matters. Okay. Right? Full House. Full House was before Family Full House. It was Full, Full House. Family, family Matters. The Dinosaurs. No, Step by Step. step no, the Dinosaurs came on before Step by Step. Well, they rotated. Yeah. Okay, dinosaur step by step, mm-hmm. and perfect strangers per- with Balky. Balky Bartaka. That's the early uh, TGIF. Uh, later on, you had Blossom. Blossom was on TGIF, was it? That was later on. Yeah. Whoa, like every whoa, year. Joey, <laughs> whoa, yeah. Yeah. whoa. But Good Full up. House and Family Matters, fam- Full House and Family Matters always stayed on. But the, the greatest life. TV. Uh, lineup of all time was Thursdays on. Was it NBC? Okay. What was the Cosby Show on? That was NBC. I thought okay. It was going, yeah. Cosby Show. It had the Cosby Show. Yeah. Right. It had a different world. Yes. Yes. Was Roseanne? Roseanne might have been after, huh? It might have been later. Yeah. Yeah. It might have been after that. And then another Thursday night lineup that was fire was on Fox. Mm-hmm. You had uh, and you the, had Martin. The, Martin. Living single. Yeah. Right. And a living color. Living color. In a living color. Yeah. I mean, was, what came on after Living Color? What, what about the um, uh, the WB? The okay, WB, WB the, in the 90s yeah. had all the black yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. The it was like the Central <laughs> Boulevard yeah. of yeah. TV. Yeah. It was like <laughs> being on Hooper <laughs> and it, <laughs> it, was like, it was like living in the Pueblo. It was like living in the Pueblo. <laughs> <laughs> Hooper and Vernon. <laughs> Hooper and Vernon. Taco Mama. That's, yeah. So by then, Hollywood didn't master the format. Right. You know right. Well, I, I, I knew shit was going bad for niggas when Homeboys in Outer Space made it to TV. Oh, Homeboys yeah. in Outer Space should have been uh, way better than it was. What? It should have been. It should have been way better. Like you had Ron from a different world. Shout out to Ron. You know Motherfuckers saying? always say I yeah. look like you. You know what I'm saying? And you had Flex. I mean, you should have been able to do something with that. Niggas in outer space. That, yeah. is, that don't. No. That don't really work, brother. Yeah. Niggas are space. We're yeah. melanin. We are the universe. Yeah. How can we be in outer space when we are space? Because mm. you're I'm a spaceship. We're stardust. Deep. I'm still trying to That's figure out how y'all knew this lineup from. 20 years ago, bro. Yeah. Because you know, that's when I didn't know what life was about. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. I just I wanted you to say yeah. yeah. This And, nigga, we older than that. It ain't 20 years ago. 20 years ago was 2002. <laughs> 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 nigga, this is 30 years ago. Wow. You forgot how. For, no, no, no. Hey, nigga, this is 32 years ago. Yeah. True. That was wild. Yeah. <laughs> and this is wow. 30. Dude, they probably don't know what the fuck we talking about. Right. <laughs> they I know up. they don't know. You ever heard of Homeboys in Outer Space? <laughs> wow, that's wow. crazy! Crazy. That, that WB lineup, though, you got to shout that one out too, because that was the what the Wayans brothers, uh, Jamie Foxx show. Uh-huh. The, the Wayans brothers is a show that I didn't realize how funny it was till later. Yeah, them niggas. Yeah. Okay, you know about the Wayans. What? Well, yeah, so shout out to the Wayans family. We know a few Wayans. What else was on that lineup? On the on the uh, okay. What the, what lineup was Moesha? Mo to the that's uh, thir- uh, channel thirteen. That's, that's UPN. UPN. Yeah, so UPN was Moisha crusher one. Parkers, huh? Park Moisha yep. Parkers and uh, we just said the other one. Uh, yeah. Homeboys uh, out of space. Homeboys out of homeboys out of space. One on one. One of the homies played on uh, the Parkers. Uh, T. Okay, so I know I know. Uh, the, uh, you talking about the bald head dude? Yeah, Ken. His name is Ken. Yeah, I know yeah. Ken. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Ken. Oh, um, Tom, uh, to Robert school. Townsend yep. show. Your Parenthood. Parenthood was yeah. on uh, Fox. No, it was on that was on WB. That was on the WB. Yeah, the Parenthood. But Robert Townsend. Yeah, My personal top three favorite shows of all times um, that don't get enough respect. Okay. But I don't care what race you were. And this ain't even a black show. 
this show could get you emotional. Mm. And it's the Wonder Years. Yeah. Oh yeah, for Every sure. Every time I hear it's that the, song, oh, oh. It's the, it was the voice. It's the yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know it was Ray Charles until that later on. That's Ray Charles. That's Ray, Ray Charles. Charles. Oh, that was Fred Savage singing that. No, I know. Yeah, <laughs> Fred <laughs> Savage. Wow. Watch what you do. <laughs> I say how to do. We <laughs> we'll stand, stand up and walk, walk out, out on me. <laughs> Lonely old ears are singing a song. I'll and try I'll not, not to say I'll be Oh, baby, now I'll live up of my friend Yeah, that's Fred Savage That's Fred Savage That was, Savage. A, that was, right, that was a, that, But that ain't Ray Charles singing that I thought it was yeah, Oh, just, let's look at that was, That was Lou Diamond Phillips singing nah, that that's Lou Diamond I guarantee Ray got a version of that What would you do, though, if you found out It was a murder plot on your life do you find out the whole plot, or you just know that it, you just it's know something? That, hey, look, man, you cut the wrong motherfucker off in traffic. Mm -hmm. They followed you home, got the license plate, your address. I'm just letting you know we got Ontario the police police department, uh, Efren Hernandez, and uh, the biker gang, uh, the Cheetahs. <laughs> <laughs> there's a plan. There's a plot on your life. Like, how does? I would try to find out who I can say sorry to. Like, you know, my bad. Like, you say, you say sorry to the plot murder on you. Ain't accepting yeah. apology. Right. Say it right to the end of that barrel honest. of the gun. <laughs> Beyond apologies. <laughs> and tell other people, come on, man, I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, auto. Right. Get him out this motherfucker. <laughs> auto pop in, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Everybody. <laughs> this way. We didn't have to go look for him. He right here. Fly back home. <laughs> What happened? Let me put, tell you what happened. Everybody put the guns away. Yeah. <laughs> Not my fault. It was an accident. My bad, bro. Uh. Yeah. My bad. He get a phone call in the middle of plotting out your murder, and we're gonna show up to his daughter's school. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, everything's off, fellas. He just apologized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Pour them drinks out. Unsmoke told, that weed. Told me meet him at the ice cream parlor, man. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I thought that's that's really like that has to be sobering. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you better get sober. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move. Man, you so move. If you found out it was a murder plot on your life, would you stay in the same house you've been staying at? It depends on how intricate this plot is. Because if it's the Cheetahs and Hernandez is coming and they coming through and it's going down, it's, it might be time to 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 fight, right? To get ready and 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 get some home defense cracking. It depends on who it is, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Because if it's a if it's a thick enough plot, you ain't gonna just be able to. Oh, I'm gonna just go to Ontario. They'll never right. find me there. Right. Why not? Right. Why not? <laughs> Because it's, it's already plotting on you. They're already yeah, ready. What, what How would they you, know? What if you find out it was a murder plot, but they didn't know what you looked like? Oh, they oh man. You get what, a jerry what, curl what, wig. What, what, what would you do to the motherfuckers that's trying to figure out what you look like? Like, would you just... You know what I'm saying? What motherfucker? You know, have you seen Alo? You know this is motherfucker. That's yeah. I'm me. This, this is what yeah. motherfucker told me. About. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Yo. What do you what, like? How do you handle that, bro? I, I, I think Corrupt said it best, man. One by one, you start to subtract. Okay. You see how many motherfuckers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to start getting rid of motherfuckers. So you think you, if you find out a motherfucker was plotting on killing you, several people, you think you could off? They say it's five or more. You think you could off all of them with no problem? No, it'll be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> problem no. will arise. <laughs> <laughs> Mid choke the, the first spot. motherfucker is gonna be a problem. Yeah. What's the best way to off a bunch of people that want you out the way? Catch, catch them at one place at the same time. So a party at a party. <laughs> at, a, at a party. We throw an uh, uh, auto a auto search party. <laughs> Come on, nigga. <laughs> 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 throw an enemy uh, get rid of her party. Right. <laughs> enemy gathering. <laughs> you, you call them up and you turn. You, you know what, man? Fuck all this looking around. I don't want you to catch me at the wrong time. Where y'all at? I'm gonna come through, man. Let's work it out. <laughs> I want to say I'm sorry. Yeah, I want to say. <laughs> I don't told me this works. <laughs> But I'm gonna do it better. I'm gonna do it a person. It'll be a, it'll be a fishing. I'm gonna party. bring balloons and cake, all that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be a fishing party. You know, we go fishing. Oh yeah. Everybody oh, out man. there on the dock. Right. That'd be easy. It, it depends on who it is, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna list a, a, a few job types okay. where if you find out this type of person working this job is trying to kill you, and you tell me how you handle the situation. All right. Understood. No. Yeah. Okay. Crossing guard. Man, if you don't get get, 
Why? He, huh? he can't be dangerous if you're <laughs> <laughs> You better get out of here. Like 875 hours, nigga. Yeah. It ain't a gun in the world you can buy for 875. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? Poison me, you bitch? <laughs> you, you out there with the limp? Slow me down. <laughs> with the limp? Okay, kid. <laughs> Hold on, that KC is with the bad. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so, a crossing guard, you find out a crossing guard is planning on killing you. It's an old white bitch. She's 85. Oh, man. And she, and she gathering up all other old white bitches. I'm going to come see they her. They say they're going to kill you. I'm going to come see her. Really? Yeah, I'm going to pull up on her. You'll knock her out? Yeah. Auto said. You're going to jail. <laughs> Don't be the old lady on no. the corner. If threatened, if threatened. I don't know what I'll do, yeah. but I'm going to come see her. I'll pull up. I'm not, yeah. I'm not well, afraid. You don't have no intentions when you pull up? You're just pulling up? We're going to talk. Yeah. How do you ask a motherfucker <laughs> who ain't <laughs> told you? Talk. Yeah. 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 Talk. I heard. <laughs> You're going to sound crazy, right? Because look, <laughs> how do you ask a motherfucker that ain't told you, I want to kill you? How do you even bring up, hey, motherfucker, you trying to kill me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just think of a nigga you knew. <laughs> Ask you if you was trying to kill it. Is it you? Yeah, like, you is it you? You would think that you would be weirded out by that, right? Hell yeah. Think if, if, if Todd, nigga, you've been fucking with Todd for years, and he seriously was like, hey, bro, I feel like you're trying to kill me, nigga. Are you trying to kill me? Like, yeah, I'd be like, man, what you doing next Thursday? Just try to see what his weekends look like. <laughs> you're trying to kill me on the weekend? A, during the week murder? I'll talk to to the mutual friends. Be like, this nigga Todd is tripping. This nigga, right. Is he smoking something? Right, right. Like, cross, crossing guard, Blaze, what you got? Uh, I ain't putting my shoes on for a crossing guard. <laughs> 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 we'll continue <Why>? watching cartoons. <laughs> man, an 85 year old woman want to kill you. <laughs> That's cool, man. Hand me the remote, would you? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker standing there with the gun to your head, but he got the vest on. You still not taking him serious? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, how, you know how, much, how many foot pounds of pressure it take to pull that trigger? <laughs> he ain't got it. <laughs> he ain't got it. He ain't got it. Man, wow. Put that down and go get me something to drink. Todd. I must be the crazy one because it's going to be some middle of the street karate going on. Yeah. Oh, catch that crossing guard. Oh, Security man. guard at the grocery store. You find oh. out he plotting to kill you. Oh, that's what you do. So you, you steal from the grocery store. You let him see you and, he, yeah. and let him chase you. And he chase you over to a little dark alley and you be <laughs> waiting on his ass. That's capital Back punishment. That if you commit murder in the commission of a crime mm. or specifically a felony, you can get the death penalty for that, right? Yeah. Hmm. That's so a bad like, plan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Don't do that. Do something <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah, yeah tweak that out a little bit. Yeah, it's, I told you it's going to be problems. Uh, the cool thing about life, there are people that are trying to kill us. They're called narcissists. Oh, shit. Every narcissist wants somebody dead. That's a part of the diagnosis, that they either want to drive you crazy or they want you to be dead. You know what I'm saying? In the most severe cases of narcissism are in a lot of women. I know some women looking back that I'm like, wow, yeah. that bitch would prefer if I was dead. Wow. Yeah. And I ain't never put my hands on a woman. Man. I ain't never not taken care of a child that I had something to do with. I've never done anything that was murderable, a murderable offense to a woman. But if you look up the definition of a true narcissism, in it, you'll find that a part of the diagnosis, not a level of narcissism that we all, anybody that's in entertainment or does something that is great, they have to have a level of that. Absolutely. But I'm talking about niggas that have been diagnosed medically. You know what I'm saying? Or it's even some people who don't know. Full-blown They narcissism. want you dead. And we think it's just eccentric behavior. Want a broad like to do way out shit, you know what I'm saying? Or she want to fight and fuck all the time, and she do shit that you know got your mind, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that damn fucking get on your nerves after a while. Two, huh? two, two, two main objectives of a true narcissist: to drive you crazy or kill you. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. Look it up, Blaze. When I read that shit, I'm like, God damn. And that's a trip. You know, like you said, when you say uh, uh, offensive to a woman to the point where she want to kill you, that's almost anything, bro. Right. That ain't that ain't you, you shot at her brother. You that's you right. Ca you came home one night and she think you lied about where you was. That's that's a killable offense to a woman. Well, most definitely. I had a woman one time, bro. She came home, told me this way out story as to why she don't got this money in. You know, she told me some Mexican dude robbed her at a gas station before right. she got there, blah, blah, blah. 
But before before that happened, <laughs> I overheard her phone call. She pocket dialed me. So I hear her hanging with some other friends that she shouldn't be with. Oh, all, right, right. all this so they par land. So I call her and tell her, you know, just come on home. You know, don't don't worry about it. You know, don't don't put in overtime tonight. Just come on home. We all right. She didn't want to come home because yeah. she knew she was fucking off. Anyway, longer story short, when she get there, that's her story, that she'd been robbed. I already knew she was going to come with a story because she'd right. been bullshitting. So she'd tell me the story. So I say, what? Are you serious? Oh, man, I, th- I throw the vest on. I-, I grab the gun, load the gun up. And, and I'm showing her all of this. I want her to see how serious I am about somebody that took my baby's money. This ain't, this ain't happening. So I did all of this just to see how far she let me go. I mean, I, I walked all the way to the car. You know, you push the alarm button once. The driver door open, you push it twice, both, okay. all the doors open. I just tapped it one time, so mine open. As soon as she grabbed the handle of that door, I was done. I was like, <laughs> she's going to ride with you. I massaged the top of her head real gently. You know what I'm saying? Rub it. Just mash it against the car. <laughs> Bow! He, he knocked her off the turnbuckle and then gave her <laughs> people's elbow. That nigga. <laughs> Uh, Bitch, I got this AK-47 on me and three other guns and a vest on. Yeah, no, I just talked to her real nicely, you know, brushing her ponytail with my hand. And I'm like, bro, I got this loaded gun. You know, I ain't got no business with the gun at this time. A loaded gun. She seen me do all of this. So I really want to know how far she – I believe she would have let me drive around looking. Yeah. uh, but who knows if she'd even identify somebody as, oh, it was him. Yeah. She'd have pointed at a random person. But look, here's the thing, though. Imagine how much shit like that has gotten past you where you thought it was a righteous effort, right. but it was really the tail end of a plot. Man. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's where we disregard the narcissist because in the back of their mind, they're plotting, they're calculated, they're studying the takeover. Mm. That's real season. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of times, if your woman is a narcissist and y'all are beefing, this is a plan. Yeah, and it don't stop. So, like, say, for instance, it's y'all cool in the beginning. Y'all could be together. This is year two. And she, the whole time, and y'all may break up year four, She that all the way to year four, she's gathering information to, to bury your ass come year 10. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that's the cold when, part. When you poor, which most of us are, you are always under a plan. You don't have the freedom to learn a woman the way you should. We right. don't even got the freedom to learn friends. We just got to take what we get sometime. You know what? Right. Yeah, Craig, cool today, man. I'm cool with that. He yeah. been cool last month. That's, you know what I mean? We don't have the freedom to really see what kind of friends we really have or how deep the friendship goes because, you know, we need so much stuff. You know what I mean? Hey, man, for me, this is how I assess my friends, man. Well, not assess because I don't assess nobody because yeah. value is – perceived absolutely but if a nigga accepting you and everything that come with you the because everybody got bullshit i do you right know? right if a nigga really accepting you and fucking with you beyond that that's your real friend but that could be a part of the plot he got it it could be a part yeah. of the plot he's gonna right. swallow everything you pour right just till you get to that space or that place you know what i mean yeah right yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the, the awareness has a level so uh, the thing that one of the elements that makes somebody narcissistic when it's in an evil way is the fact that they feel like they can manipulate you. They feel like they're smarter than you. So if you have the cognitive reasoning ability to observe that in a motherfucker, the, all these plots or whatever the bitch may have or whoever may have on you, they plotting on something that is a dead end anyway because you, you're getting loaded information from a nigga. Right. I don't know, man. If, t- if, you, if you play... Was something dangerous every day. Yeah, I don't care how I don't care how much you know it's dangerous. You know how, how much how knowledge, knowledgeable you are about the situation. If you play with that daily, it's a possibility that one day they gonna catch you slipping. One, you gonna get yeah. caught slipping. You, Most you, definitely. You know what I mean. So I try to separate. Period, man. Once I figure out that that's a possibility, you know. But well, here's the thing, man. Christian Amerte, I always say his name wrong, but the guy has a quote. <laughs> and I'm going to paraphrase It's not exactly what it is, but it's a version of it I heard Zoe and somebody else say, Phil Valentine. Oh. There is no healthy way to integrate into a sick society. So it, yeah. there's, there's no, I know some niggas think they ain't got dirt on them, but the way that this system is programmed yeah. and the way that we've been programmed, we really sick motherfuckers trying to heal. We ain't healthy motherfuckers getting sick. Right. I agree. You feel what I'm saying? So if you understand it from that perspective, if somebody has an issue that's deeper than regular 
everyday narcissism. I'm talking about some medical shit. You just got to move accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You create, well, true narcissists, once they want to kill you or view you as an enemy, it's a lifetime thing. Wow. It's a lifetime thing. You know, I know of a woman who was messing with a nigga, and they've been messing around since they was 15 years old, and through drug use, because he was fucking with Crystal, he developed a severe case of narcissism. So in the back of his mind, he, he's always trying to find that bitch because he wants to ruin that bitch, because wow. that's how serious it is to him. And he's been after this bitch for 20 years because he's fucking a true narcissist. Yeah. They don't stop till you're either dead or they drive you crazy. Uh, you can become a narcissist from crystal meth. Hell yeah! <laughs> it's, it's one yeah. of the side effects. <laughs> shit, <laughs> drug, could, that yeah. is crazy. If mean, that ain't another reason to leave that shit alone, I don't know what. Yeah, real spit. It's a form of yeah. obsession. Yeah. Anyway, who I, are you I, to become a narcissist? Up on that shit, man. If, a lot of the chicks that I've dealt with, well, not a lot. If I say if I had to put a percentage, I would say twenty percent of the women women I've dealt with, in hindsight, were. Damn near to the severe, serious level. Uh, and I didn't realize it until later. Did they ever call you a narcissist? Uh, Trying to throw it back at Most you know, of like, them do. Yeah, yes, they do. Yeah, denial. If you got empathy, you're not a narcissist. If you care about motherfuckers and have real empathy, um, you're not a narcissist. What makes a narcissist a narcissist is they only give a fuck about themselves. They have no empathy for nobody but themselves. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that can, that can, that can translate to caring about somebody else. Oh, I care about Otto because Otto always praising me every time he see me. Right. Otto come run and grab my bags and help perpetuate this narcissism. That right, I, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So so don't say that because you're going to trick a couple of these motherfuckers thinking <laughs> they're not what they really are. No, right. you really are. Because yeah, no, really, <laughs> you're still thinking about yourself through Otto or anybody else. don't give about shit about nobody yeah. but themselves. Like in the end, if you think about the people who may fit the bill that you've met, and it, in your life, like yeah. if you really think about the shit, they cold hearted motherfuckers. Man, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Like super real, cold hearted. Real tough. Real spill, man. I had a bitch one time, man. <laughs> I was transitioning between cribs. So it was like a month and a half where I, you know, I was gonna either have to pay eight thousand in hotel bills or whatever that would have been, or just chill out with a bra for a little while, you know. Right, right. And I chose the wrong bro. <laughs> 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 hey, your defense, there was no right. I, I had been smashing her for years. I liked her a lot. I actually loved her. Mm. She was college educated, smart. You know what I'm saying? But when she got that perceived advantage that made her feel like she was above me, just by me staying with her for a month and a half, right. even though I paid my way. Um, everything changed. Nigga, I was working a fuel job, which means I was hauling fuel, 80,000 gallons of gasoline, taking it from refineries and delivering it to gas stations. Right. Very dangerous job, right? It was an on-call job, too, meaning, like, I worked every day, but I didn't know exactly what time I had to be to work right. until, like, damn near midnight the night before. So sleep was, like, imperative. Right. No security. Huh? No security. Nigga, as soon as I start living with her, bro, she started trying to sleep deprive me. No, oh, which means shit. she would wait till I would fall asleep, and she would find a reason to argue with a nigga, wake me out of my sleep, nigga, just yelling and you know what I'm saying, just I'm like, this bitch is trying to kill me, nigga. <laughs> Who left like, the spoons in the sink? I mean, I mean, why I mean, the fuck I mean, you leave like, the toilet seat up? Do you understand that I drive fuel <laughs> trucks, bitch, and if I fall asleep at the wheel? I'm going to die, and a lot of people are going to die. But you want to argue about a bitch that was standing in line in front of me at Taco Bell, and I said hello to her. Right. <laughs> Why are you talking to bitches in Taco Bell, Craig? Bro, I was begging for sleep. Man. <laughs> Just man. let me go to sleep. I was like a nigga. I was like I was a sleep base head. Nigga, I'm anything but some sleep, baby. I just think whatever you want me to do, I suck your pussy. <laughs> Fuck all that. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> She was trying to kill me, Blaze. Uh, he fell asleep. She cracked a smell of sauce over there. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers think murderers are niggas that pull guns and nah. pull knives and stab. You know, people will try to murder you uh, mentally. Yeah. They will try to deceive you and destroy you and wear down your logic so they yeah. can take what you got, which is your soul, uh, nigga. Man. 
I, 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 I get it, man. That's how I feel about old girl. You got me running around here with this loaded gun, chasing nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Either I'm gonna go to jail <laughs> for a very long time. You know what's been funny is like you ain't chasing no, you chasing the thugs. Right, right. If you pulled the gun out and act like you was shooting, pow! Oh, I Shit, wish I, I killed the ghost. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was a ghost bullet. Yeah. That was, that was <laughs> for you. Yeah. This is a boom millimeter. This is this is a woo millimeter. Go ahead. Yeah, no, that's crazy though. How deep and far they go. She's such a narcissist. She probably be like, "Whew, glad you handled it, baby." Yeah, you should have. You should have went out. And then came back in like I, I shot at some motherfuckers. They on their way here. It's about thirteen of them. Baby, grab the other strap. It's going down. Right. That we we been... might die in here tonight, but I love you. Man. <laughs> my my mind was just too crowded thinking about the fact yeah. that somebody would go that deep. Man, that's well, that was deep to me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was deep. You think she understood <laughs> how deep it was? I I think you know. And part of what you were explaining when it comes to a narcissist is is they only think about that end thing, which is what they want right. to be on top, and, and they don't really pay attention to the levels and layers of things that take place to get to where they're going. Right. So, so, so she knew that she was lying. She knew that it was danger with that lie. She didn't know, you know, she didn't really think, you know, how deep it can go and what it could actually do for me, but yeah. they don't really care, you know what I mean? So, so look up cluster uh, A, personality disorders. Personal, right? Yeah. Okay, we gonna get into that, but man, we are gonna have some conversation because you're gonna be like, God damn, nigga, that there, there's 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 some shit called uh, autoism. That's yeah. a little, <laughs> real, <that's> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know Blaze knows some shit like that. Historionic personality disorder. Historionic. Historionic personality disorder. Historionic. Explain. Story, we watch when I tell this, you're gonna be like, God damn, we all know a few niggas like this. Okay, in the hood, you're on the block, it's always that one nigga who wasn't there. He know all the history, but he put himself there. Nigga, when the when when <laughs> nigga, when, when the Athens and the and, and, and the Playboys got into it, nigga, I'm one fired on uh, uh Big Whale. Yeah. Okay, wow. after I fired on Big Whale, he didn't want none. Yeah. I got my car left, then it kicked off. I watched the whole like. <laughs> nigga, it's all the nigga who put himself in everything historically. That's a disease, bro. I had a dude, the homie Cisco, man. This fool. He said, put Cisco on black. <laughs> <laughs> told, told my story. <laughs> you know, you, you, you ever know? You know, he's been telling this lie for a long yeah. time because he just right. blurted it out. But hey, when it got back to you, it was incredible. No, well, it was still. It was. I mean, I guess to him, it was an incredible <laughs> story anyway. He kept it. He kept it pretty. But I'm like, it was. It was very distinguishing. It was one of the weird things that happened to me. But it must have been cool to him because he told that story, man. And I guess he didn't realize that he he been he been lying for so long. He didn't yeah. realize where he got it from. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and told my story in a circle that I was in. I was like, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that was cool. Man. <laughs> yeah. Everybody got that one partner, man. He put yeah. his, he put his. I didn't know that that was a disorder. Histori yeah. Historic historionic historionic historionic. Let me find it. Historionic historionic personality disorder. A story on a Putting yourself in stories. That's that basically white in. culture. Oh, yeah. Nigga, they didn't put themselves all in Africa when it wasn't even none of them motherfuckers around oh, back that's then. That's a fact. Uh, the I Egypt movies, the new Egypt movies, everybody's uh, Puerto Rican. Yeah, nigga, what? Yeah. This, the Moses movie is historionic personality disorder. Right. It should have been a whole lot of more brothers, and it should have been all brothers and sisters. What movie is the biggest uh, representation of historionic personality disorder? Um, I remember that movie came out of was it uh, Gods of Egypt or something like that, where every like I said everybody was white. It was a bunch of white actors, and it's supposed to be the story of Egypt and Cleopatra and whoever else was out there running around. But it was all white people in the yeah. movie. Wow! How about any cowboy and Indian story? Oh yeah, oh, yeah for sure, right. <laughs> <laughs> Even the whole misconception of cowboys themselves. You know, cowboys never rode around chopping down, you know, Indian. Indians or nothing. 
That was the government. That was the government. That was <laughs> the Union Army. Yeah. That was <laughs> that was some army shit, nigga. One one white nigga with six bullets killing twelve hundred Indians. Right. It ain't even enough bullets for all these Indians to be dead in this movie. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Them yeah. niggas got two revolvers. That's right. twelve bullets. Twelve yeah. bullets. Twelve hundred Indians. <laughs> and a shot of whiskey. <laughs> and a shot of whiskey. <laughs> all right, all right. All that man. Them cowboy Bullet movies are so bullshit, so man. Revolver. What's something these people don't know about cowboys? That there's a misconception. Total misconception. Cowboys are more like a circus act. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? I right. mean? Really, it was like an attraction, mm. you know, back then. It wasn't no real. Like you said, it doesn't even make sense riding around with six bullet killing 1,200 people. <laughs> right. Where are you going? It ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you traveling as a cowboy, I feel like you're just going in one direction. Yeah. Ain't no, let me go to Colorado and double back over yeah. here to, to Florida. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to need more than six bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no home base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's basically uh, reconstruction period gangbanging. Right. It's 1860s, 70s, 80s, 90s gangbanging. Do you think cowboys uh, would bang on each other? Where you from? Like, you think it was... Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you no, think no. the Texas cowboys really like the Montana cowboys? They couldn't. No, no, they wouldn't. The cowboy thing wasn't real. Period. We just told you it wasn't real. Yeah. So Damn it. Have you ever seen a uh, 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 posse? One clown uh, bang on another one. Are you taking it that level? Because you know Bass Reeves is a real black cowboy. And Bill Pickett. But I don't think that they called themselves cowboys because I yeah they called it was something different. Right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. right. Yeah, no, it's one of the black cowboys. We we down the street from the black cowboy exhibit. Yeah, we got to go there, Bill man. Bill Pickett, you ever been to the Bill Pickett rodeo when y'all was kids? I heard of it. I don't oh, know much about Bill fire. Pickett, but I heard he was a mother. So the, the it was all black. It was like everything was black. The whole the uh, wild horse riding, the bull riding, the the calf roping, all of that was all black people, and it was like um, Universal Soul Circus, but yeah. right. cowboy shit. Right, right, yeah. That's what, that's Shout out to the Bill from. Pickett Rodeo, man. Yeah, Bill Pickett. You know any facts about Bill Pickett? Had a hell of a rodeo. Exactly. And I said, no, nigga was a cowboy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He played that. the cowboy, I know right? That. He had those I six know. bullets. Okay. <laughs> he had a gun. Yeah. yeah. He had a gun. Possibly two guns. Yeah. 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 Nigga probably ate a lot of chili. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> nigga like horses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we know the nigga like horses. Yeah, right. Cause you can't be a cowboy without a horse. No. Yeah, there's no you, walking cowboy. You got to be. Nigga, what? With no bus stop for cowboying. Right. You had to have your own way to to, to the party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I ain't buying no punk. Oh, I'll ride with you, but it's got to be a whole nother saddle oh, holder. But <laughs> I got, I'm not getting to, the back of him, though. You got to kill the driver. Yeah, <laughs> you got, yeah, yeah, we can ride the same I imagine horse, a, <laughs> but you riding, bitch. Imagine this one cowboy they think he gay. Like, he always want to get on the back of my horse. I don't, why didn't why don't they got his own horse? How did he get to the fight with no horse? Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, we're 12 miles from the city. How the fuck did he get here with... With no horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't got his own horse, nigga. Yeah. He always asking me for a <laughs> <laughs> He was the first one here. <laughs> you borrow your horse, man. Hey, bring it back. What was the equivalent to gas money back then? Damn. Oh, man. A, I don't know. Oh, a, man. A, a barrel of hay? You know, yeah. Something I can feed my horse? Man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we energy over here. Hell, yeah. Horse jacking had to be a thing because there's, there's got to yeah. be a guy who spent all his, his shillings right. on the horse right. and another right. motherfucker Jacket. who spent... All his shillings oh, on another revolver. Yeah. Whiskey. <laughs> I finna just take the nigga horse anyway. Yeah. Right. I'm just waiting on it to get a little older. You had to wait on <laughs> back then. You had to wait on. <laughs> you had to wait on. <laughs> you could just steal a car now because cars don't grow up. Right. But a horse. <laughs> yeah. A horse has to grow up. Yeah. Right? I'll be, I'll yeah. be back in six months. So, hey, that's that's four five hey. months to plot on a nigga's horse. You and you got to plot because a horse isn't like you said. It's not like a car it has a mind of its own. So you got to sneak and you feed got, the you, horse. You got to sneak and build a relationship. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's the well, going, man, I'm just going outside right quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love on the horse. Stop breaking in thunder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a break in, nigga, in your game. Oh, you, to get the horses 
used to y'all setting the shit. Yeah. It be bringing y'all clothes and having a horse Yo, smell but, y'all clothes. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you would have to treat that horse better than the owner treats that horse. And yeah. Take that horse. Right, because you got owner. to exceed the love it's already experienced. Yeah. You doing some nasty that's, shit at that yeah. point. That's how the white man took control of our women. Oh, talk oh. about it. Man, they treated them better than we could. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see? And, and that's, you know, it's funny. That's still going on today, man, because uh, they got a birthday at work. You can be broke. Mm-hmm. But uh, the boss going to have a cake or something at that office, man. They're going to have something special for your lady, yeah, they do even it. if yeah. you don't. Yeah. Right? So what is it that they doing special that we not doing, Blaze? Providing money. Yeah, thank you. That's it. You are never <laughs> uh, more powerful than her boss. Than her boss. Wherever your woman get the most money from, that is her loyalty level. Yeah, yeah. So I give my woman. So if you're not giving your, if your woman make five thousand a month at the job, right, and you only giving her five hundred dollars in love, see, the job, you know what I mean? You could, you could match the money with love, and she'll spit in your face. Yeah, she can't spit in your love. Right. Your love ain't gonna get new furniture around this house. <laughs> I always spit love in my woman's face. <laughs> <laughs> Two nights a week. <laughs> you gonna get this love, baby. <laughs> it's love. Yeah. It's love. Yeah. love. It's love. Yeah, 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 just swallow that, baby. It's love. You got a little bit of love on you. Ain't that something, though? If you think it's about so- it, man, how much arguing you do with your woman about frivolous shit? Right. When she goes. And, does, and she'd be very specific for a motherfucker she never met. Right. I mean, what are you doing at 745? And he said, be here by 8. <laughs> Boss, man. Get your ass in there eat lunch between 12 yeah. and 1 o'clock. Yeah. You done at 1. So what it take 30 minutes to get that shit? You better be at that computer. Would you Come keep, 2 o'clock. No, I, no. Would you keep eating your woman's pussy if uh, she always, like, nutted in your face? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's yeah, not I'm talking about like all over your face. You got this. It's a whole towel's worth of that. <laughs> Listen, if you <laughs> brave enough to get down there, man, a you gotta keep going. Because yeah. <laughs> you'd be so mad if somebody else did it. Right. You, you you gave somebody else a towel face, so you gotta get down there. If you're brave enough to eat it, you gotta be brave enough to. I wouldn't be jealous. take the fucking. You blast. wouldn't be curious about why her pussy has so you much juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 how the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> This <laughs> place got a hemi in her uterus. <laughs> Miss, what? Like, you don't, you don't drink that much water. That bitch got a flow master. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get that. But how do you bring that conversation up? I mean, hey, baby, bitch, why is this nut all over my face, bitch? <laughs> I've ate face? a lot of pussy. And I've never been shot by one, bitch. How the fuck <laughs> did you get all of this shit on my face, bitch? <laughs> is this before you wipe it off? Or I is this still on your shirts? face when you yelling and shit? <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to yell. I mean, I got some pussy, so I'm happy. But right. But any nigga yell after he nut is a weirdo. Right. Uh, yeah. that, I, <laughs> I need to cut off. Nigga, and fuck you too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you still want a bitch? Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> the, that's the time. That's the yeah. time to yell. When you're what done. type of nigga yells yeah. after sex? A psycho, motherfucker. Motherfucker's about to get cut off. That's crazy. Someone at the top of like, his lung. Aggressively? Yeah. Till his head, till he get dizzy. The, what <laughs> about the first time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dizzy, bitch. Pain popping out the <laughs> What about the first time you ever run into a squirter? Do you remember that? It just fucked me up. Yes. Did you know what that was? I had no yes. idea. So uh, yes, I knew exactly what it was. Five. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Got squirted it wasn't, it wasn't oh, five. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I didn't know we the same age. No, that was that was. I squirt. didn't know that was squirting early. I didn't know that, dude. I kicked this broad up my apartment. Like, yeah. Oh, oh you yeah, had an apartment when you found out. That's yeah. late. Yeah. Late. <laughs> Six months ago, I was at the crib. Hey, it was late. This is my 30th birthday party. Other shit come out the pussy. Man. I was pissed. It's clear. Clear. And my shit's so fly, you know, the drapes match the sheets, the blanket match my sneakers. I'm like, 
But you just ruined my motherfucking Nigga, linen. You just say your comfort and match your sneakers. Yes. He, <laughs> <laughs> no, he definitely said that. He definitely said that. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> plays crazy than the motherfucker. That's the uh, cowboy yeah, boots, the too. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> I'm just saying all my shit in there nice and fly. Man. Coordinated. And I just and I thought I was doing something major because I seen this big puddle when I was done. I was like, shit. Right. I put in some work, right? Yeah. And I fucked around and smelt that shit. I was like, Smelled the work. Wasn't it wonderful? I got <laughs> that hint. Well, I got yeah. that. <laughs> hell no. That's I got that hint of piss and was like, bitch. Did bitch. you just put your funky ass? Put, did you drain that funky ass pussy on my sheets? Oh, uh, she got to go, man. She, yeah. hey, she was so embarrassed. <laughs> Wait, can <laughs> she we? She was like, oh my god, no, I gotta. I'm sorry, this never happened to. Yeah, this. Don't worry about it. I but, just wanted to make sure we don't gloss over a hint of piss. It was a little more than a hint. It was, I sm- <laughs> piss is terrible. You know how strong piss is. It's like yeah. a beer or some shit. You smell that anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I get her downstairs. You know, I'm walking her on out of here. You, you got to go. <laughs> I'm walking her on out of here. Yeah. But this is how crazy I am, right? As we get to the bottom of the stairs, I get a clip in my mind about what just happened upstairs. Before I got to the smell of the piss, I was like, that was a lot of moisture. And it was fun. And it dripped down her button. Man, I'm trying to tell you. They got hard again. I was like, well. You did apologize. Go try this one more time. Yeah. Well, start, squirting make you feel like you got the biggest dick in the world. Man, it's vagina soup. Squirt is a vagina steroid. Soup. Yeah, for your mind. <laughs> to your fuck festivity. <laughs> Confidence. I'm trying to tell you. Hey. Because the, the first time I banged it out abroad, it really, I really, nigga, I joined the military. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this with <laughs> this pistol. <laughs> oh, imagine <laughs> what I can do for the world with On a the battlefield. <laughs> 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 no, the first time it happened, I I, I was my ego, I was mad because my comforter. Yeah, I was cold as a motherfucker that night. I couldn't have no wet comforter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Stop. my comforter was. I mean, bitch, I woke up with pneumonia, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do this? Why'd you do? <laughs> and didn't yeah. offer to wash the motherfucker. Yeah, oh. offer, yeah, she offered to wash mine, my dry cleaning bill, and all that. And, and it wasn't for a few days later that it really hit me. I told Tan, yeah. my buddy, Mr. Tan, if them niggas laugh so hard. Hey, this nigga's stupid. This nigga didn't know it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'll tell y'all something else. I've been looking for that pussy ever since. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Would, you, yeah. would you agree that uh, vagina soup trumps looks? Like, she don't have to be the baddest one, but if she can squirt, she can come on. Yeah. I, that squirting does hold a lot of weight. Right? A lot of weight. <laughs> Real niggas lot. don't really give a fuck about a woman's face. Yeah, that's the last <laughs> thing on my list. I don't know about that. But I'm the last. If thing. I'm, if you got a top five faces, four for me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean it. You know, depending well, face on how, is objective how, though. You can yeah. you can. Learn to like a face that ain't initially cute if she not got all the other them. things. Not huh? all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> this, this, this guy that right. nigga know like a <laughs> motherfucker. He's, 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 I seen every them. face. All of them. See, I tried to fuck <laughs> like into me on a bit. There's some, there's some, was, there's some, there's some jawbone nose combinations. <laughs> are compatible. It don't really go. <laughs> you said jawbone could, nose compatible. What was? I mean, this what nigga's was the pro like, now. Right. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how you get the face and jawbone? Yeah, you, yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's a wild shit. The structure, some, some ain't compatible and don't look good. Some like, so, but some say, everybody knows. Out here. It was but a, you, it was a, with a jawbone that sticks like this? It was a blotch job. Yeah, yeah. You ain't never. So you saying you've only hit top notch chicks your whole? You hollering vagina soup over there? And you telling me you right. only hit top notch chicks? Right. All of them are not top notch. Three. Yes. Have you ever hit a right. four? No, uh, yeah. A three? You, you, a three. Have you, you hit a three? Listen, we Four, all, Big Nasty. Yes, that's Big Nasty. So you hit a three, right? That's all Big Nasty. But I'm not hitting no ones. You hit a two? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't be a two. <laughs> he skipped over that two, right? <laughs> he skipped over that two, though. Man. He skipped over that two. <laughs> two get it for sure. Bareback two. Of course. Have you hit a one? Is there a one? <laughs> Have you... Oh, What's a one? Who can squirt is What's not one? She can possibly keep that. be a one, no, for real. Have you ever met a one, nigga? A one got to be a base <laughs> hit. <laughs> no hair, no <laughs> teeth. Never seen one. <laughs> no hair, if, no teeth. Flat chested, no booty. They got a disability. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, it's all love, but most of them got disabilities. You ain't fucking with it. You know what I'm saying, have a little messed up face, missing a plate. 
in the face, you know, you know soggy on one side. Damn. Yeah, so this is no one. Gotta have a disability to be a one. To be a one. No, because so, there's, there's some bad dis- ones with disabilities. I got a scale. Bad See? bitch you ever seen in your life? No. Uh-huh. She got half a leg, and she's still a, a dime. No. What? Yeah, the leg don't matter. <laughs> the woman, <laughs> if a woman is missing half a leg and she would be a dime, what does that bump her rating down to if she's missing? Uh, eight. Half? So if you're uh-huh. a bad bitch, and and she's bad, a- and she got a stub leg, we good. Um, depends on which you, limb. Though. He hit a one. <laughs> if, if the, That's one talk. No. <laughs> you hit a one. <laughs> it depends on the limb. Cause you can no, cause no, it's not a one. You can you can hide the leg, the leg. But if it's an arm, you it's, can't you can't really you know what, what you gonna do with uh, that? You can't go place with this the arm. This nigga done sucked on a nub before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been, been been getting that that McNubbin. <laughs> he done ate out a nub. Yeah, y'all scales is fucked up. I had to tap half of it. Way different. About. <laughs> I don't even know any real tens, man. You know? No, I mean that on yeah. this, but I've never met a one. I don't think I'm middle one either. I mean, no. that's the dead bitch. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the skill started too. Right? <laughs> it's her last breath. Yeah. She's still a half if she's breathing. <laughs> <laughs> you get a half for being a, you get a half for being alive yeah. and then another half for uh, all for, extremities. Yeah. Bottom line. A one is squirting holds weight. So if a one can squirt, if she yeah. had no, no legs and can squirt no. a lot. She's not getting touched. She's sliding off the, oh, the sorry chair. Sorry for her. One don't exist, bro. That's got to be a bitch uh, that's got an asshole on her face. Th- th- it's got to be some weird <laughs> shit yes. going on with a woman for her to be a With a cleft a one? lip? Yeah. How about this? No, no bottom lip? Oh, the cleft have, lip? Have, have, have y'all? That ever? still ain't a one. That ain't one? Dick with a cleft follow instructions, she can't be a one. If a bitch is following your instructions, she can't be a one. I subscribe to that. No. So then you so then faces don't matter, right? So you can you can look at somebody who would have been a one, but if she's following instructions, now she's a three, she four. A, she's one point one. A one to a t- three and a half. A <laughs> one point one. She's not good enough yeah, that high. Do everything I say, she could be a dime. I was gonna say from a, a one, one she get how high can she get? Eight? <laughs> can, no. can a one be an eight if she do everything no, you want her to do? How how's that possible? <laughs> you're not taking her outside, I guarantee she ain't yeah, going outside with Fuck you. everybody else. So she's stuck I in the like house. It. As far as looks, ain't no such thing as one look wise. Never seen one. She had to sleep on a landmine to be a one. That mean, a one means nobody would fuck her. <laughs> yeah. there's right. A, there's a nigga that would fuck every type of bitch. Everything. Yeah. Dump the I'm wheelchair over and climb crater, on top. Crater face, like say she's a Caucasian girl. Um, oh. Cause craters look worse on Caucasians because they're red. You know what I mean? So like, right. so she Damn. got bumps all Meth over her bumps face. And shit. She okay. got Craig's Craig face. She's white. <laughs> She's like Craig. Oh man, <laughs> one. Yeah, right. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> the one. I'm not spelling it. Uh, nope. 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 Can't do it. Can't do it. Look, man. That's crazy. I won't tell nobody. Have y'all ever kept fucking abroad? Because she, she said stop. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know what you are. <laughs> Every time. Oh. That nigga Blaze is savage. This, this, this is a safe space here, Craig. You want to let something out? <laughs> Put that tape back on your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but but no, nah, have y'all ever kept fucking one even though she wasn't your speed for whatever reason? Because yeah. she, uh, she was ugly. She was too fat. She was something. But that pussy was good. Like, like a squirt or do something crazy right. that made you keep going back to it when you otherwise wouldn't. Absolutely. In there already. Absolutely. That's the question. That well, you, you went in there voluntarily. I would never have went in there. Well, one night Stop I had, it. I had one too many one night, and somebody was going to get this work. Right. And so I, you know, <laughs> I, 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 and when I got in there, I was like, whoa, some good shit right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll try one more time. I don't, Usually I don't do this, but. Uh, right. I mean, it's threes and fours, Blaze. Huh? That's a three and four. She wouldn't be a one. Should be a three or four. No, no, no one. Uh, fucking bitches with his motorcycle helmet on. Fucking out of there. Yeah. I'm already dressed. <laughs> Reach in there and get the dick out. Man. <laughs> man. Oh, that's yeah, crazy. I don't want to hear some more shit. Like, you know what? I'm going to do this one more time, man. That's it. You, you know it wasn't one more time. <laughs> Still hitting the could, motorcycle. Could you put your, could you put your, the, the list of, of women that you hit? Well, not even a list, a lineup where people could see it. Would you be willing to put that up? Of course so I would. See? Yeah. No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, no, uh, no. You know, I'm, yeah. uh, not because 
how they look or nothing is you know because of the nature of my game. <laughs> oh, but look wise, it, it's all everything oh, is. Look wise, I'm look. I mean, come on, man, you, cut it out, man. <laughs> couple couple twos on there, right? No. That's your no list. twos. Oh yeah, my list. Yeah, I got twos yeah. and I mean, of course, ones and whatever that lower that. No, Jesus is a scumbag, my nigga. Right, I know you've been. He, <laughs> my scumming yeah. days are over. Right, but that list but he still exists. He knows me for a long though. time, so he, oh, yeah, that they're list. on that yeah, list. Them yeah, twos is gonna be up old. there now. But nowadays, you know, the cost of dick is doubled. It's a lot of weird shit going on out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Inflation. Okay. These girls playing games. They Ooh. licking and touching each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they having these way out it's as requests. Yeah, we had to punish them for that, man. Yeah, yeah. Cost of dick is double. <laughs> Definitely. Most man, shit. You found out your son's, your daughter's teacher has been plotting on murdering you. How do you handle the teacher? Male or female? You said, man. <laughs> <laughs> That one to come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, female. Female, uh, she gonna get it. She gonna get it. So how, but how do you, cause you can't just knock a woman out and say, this bitch was finna murder me. I ain't, I'm thinking, and I ain't got no proof about it, <laughs> but, but she been moving different. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> how do you make it to where people will understand what's going on? Oh, you set up cameras in the classroom. And you just wanna. Set up cameras in the class. Yeah. But she's not in there telling the kids. <laughs> that would be a cold teacher if she was telling kids, I'm, I'm killing David's mama. Yeah. You yeah. walk into the classroom. Can you imagine? Don't never sign the shit I tell you to sign. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Before I, call I, I never sign. I ate the little lunch that bitch made for yeah. <laughs> The bitch can't cook. I don't think I'm going to murder David's mom. <laughs> <laughs> she tell that to the kid. What I'm saying is, the kids. Are, why would you kill her at school? Ain't nobody gonna believe. No, I wouldn't kill her at school, but I'll set oh, the cameras. The, I'll set the cameras up at school so I can. Uh, you know. Could you imagine them catching Otto with his trench coat in the right. van out in front of a school? With cam- <laughs> right, cameras, pocket full of cameras. They gonna do it. What are they doing with this? Somebody in there trying to kill me. You yeah. gotta believe me. You gotta believe yeah. me. <laughs> I've been watching yeah, for about. You just get me out the way, yeah. Mister Federal Agent, nigga. <laughs> okay, this is a, look, nigga. This van ain't for the kids. Right. It's yeah. for the bitch's body. Yeah, it's a grown like, boat. She right. planning on killing me. Now look, his drawers up under this trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing underwear. Oh, yeah. would, would, tabs on her. would you, for for your daughter's sake? Fuck all her teachers so that she can get to college. Yes. Yeah. Except no. Except the men. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Of course, except the men. But even if there's like some old sixty eight year old, she's getting smashed. That's too easy. That's too easy. Yeah. That's too yeah. Easy. yeah. Huh? Easy. What if for your daughter to be a millionaire, uh, a naked nigga had to sit, sit in your lap for an hour? My daughter would be a thousandaire. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> a thousandaire. Right? Well, it's good as it gets, baby. You ain't getting you ain't your millions in your future. He's just sitting in your lap. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm not mature enough. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter rich. My daughter going to be rich. That's why I'm doing this. A naked nigga going to sit in your lap. Nigga start what? bouncing in your lap. Yeah. yeah, they start making different rules. I, I got to sit like this. I got to get right. I don't want to slide off. I got to get right on your lap. <laughs> Uh, take my leg down to here so I don't fall my off. My daughter's gonna be rich after this. Don't think, no, nah, right? I was just like, don't write you a check. Like, what yeah. if you gonna cash at me? How do I uh, get yeah. this what, money? What about not the naked in your lap? What about he just get to slap you on the ass one time? For when? one time, for a million dollars. I'm just not mature enough. I'm not said, is there a camera? <laughs> is there a camera? Is it a butt, uh, is it a butt uh, naked uh, slap? Is it a butt naked slap? <laughs> he's got to slap ass, or is he slapping jeans? He, no, he's slapping jeans, but it's a grip slap. It's one of those. Nah. Can I get a basketball first nah. and make a shot so I can pretend like it's – no, I can't do it. In, in I'm your not head. You, gotta do it. You, can, you can do that in your head. No, no. Switch. Yeah, no. That's Let's not going to work. I'm not out there. Know. A million dollars, bro. On a football field. A million dollars. We, we, we're in uniform. <laughs> no. no. I, 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 just scored, I just scored a touchdown. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, you got to no, stop no. and wait for the ass slap, You got to show up to an office. The office. Never. Knock on the door and let you in. Say, here you go. Turn around. Is there a camera? You gotta wear a suit. You, you you need privacy or what? You gotta yeah, wear. I mean, is is is, is, is this being reported? No, they gotta have a camera because yeah. in case you try to say it was sexual assault, or right? They gotta they gotta record you that you consented to this ass grab. Yep. You gotta wear a no, suit. I pass. It's, it's, a, it's an ass grab. You know what I'm saying? No, we're not, we're not doing an ass grab. Bro, you got nine kids. You won't take an ass. No, grab we're not taking an ass grab for nobody. Oh uh, man, you ain't never played sports before. Yes. The homies ain't never slapped you on the ass. That happened. 
But you want to do it for the battle. It's not contact. It ain't homies. It's homies. It's teammates. It's weird how teammates slap you on the ass. Right. But homies can't. Right. It's the same ass. Right. Yeah. Hey, we were doing something. We had a goal. It's the same ass. Look out of your ass. That's crazy. Yeah. A slap and a grab is different. Teammate is cool. Nah. I'm making a shot. They'll accept you as long as you're a teammate. Yeah. Right. Other than that, like, oh, you being weird. Wait, what? But if you're a friend. Yeah. <laughs> what if what if your friend I barely know can touch my ass, right. but a nigga that know me and supported me can't touch my ass? What if, Craig? That's so what if gay nigga be begging for the ass? <laughs> Craig, what if what if what if you had a teammate? <clears throat> what if you had a, a teammate? Right, you made a good player or whatever, and he comes up to you Thursday after the game. And slaps your ass like I didn't get a chance to get to you on the field. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's, but that was a hell of a play, man. That I was dope. That <laughs> so I just get yeah, you down. Game is over. Yeah, be- game been over. Yeah, but week. I can't believe you made that catch, bro. You know what I'm that saying? It was a hell of a one game. handed, and you weren't even wearing the glove. That's, that's the quick elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got your elbow. I don't got auto elbow on them. I got auto. Yeah, you saw that? <laughs> you tell her the tell her the story about the play. Yeah, then I shook the shook the motherfucker, <laughs> hit the three, and then you get your ass slapped. Bye. Bye. Man, that was I, I was excited when you did that. Like, don't reenact the ass slap, my nigga. Do the shot, but you gonna reenact the ass slap? <laughs> I saw the whole thing. That shit was awesome. Yeah, teammates That's get good. way more uh, advantage. Sexual leeway. Yeah. If you a gay nigga, is the best thing you could be is a teammate. Yeah. But you get yeah. <laughs> free yeah. you getting you getting to touch ass for nothing. You get to slap you, ass. He, he, you get to dive on top of niggas after games. You get <laughs> you get to be in the locker room. You get to reward niggas for what they do right. Yeah, you ain't this shit by slapping their asses. <laughs> What'd you do if <laughs> you get to be in the locker room when they change clothes? All that bullshit. <laughs> what would you do if a, a teammate asked you to slap their ass? Why yeah. ain't you slapping my ass? Yeah. You didn't see that shot. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't see that. <laughs> You ain't a man. Wow. Wow. Been no, man wow. Wow. You act like a real bitch ass nigga right now. What if, what if? I'm trying to think you don't fuck with me like that. <laughs> you ain't, ain't slapped my ass. I don't. I got I got I, I, got, I, I got eight. <laughs> I don't. I can't believe I can't believe this shit, Otto. I can't believe it. I got 18 points, right. 12 rebounds. Yeah. I ain't got no slaps. Hey, motherfucker, you ain't. High five, my nigga. This is, and you ain't even touched it? This, this is the second <laughs> season we played together, bro. <laughs> yeah. You slapped my ass three times in two seasons. <laughs> something ain't right. Is it something I could do different? I'm gonna my jersey off, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what if you started to explain your case, Otto, and he shushed you, but he touched your lips with yeah. his finger? <laughs> I would break. I would broke. <laughs> And then you get your finger over like, well, actually, I've been wanting you to slap my ass, but I had ass surgery, so it hurts. I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> slap my ass. Ain't slap my ass, oh, man. You's man. a cold motherfucker. That is cold blood. I'm balling out there, and you just ignore uh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to him about this. I said, Wayman to me is, the, that's a gay name. Wayman, yeah. Wayman. That motherfucker is. named Wayman, I think his daddy wanted him to be gay. Do you think that there, <laughs> do you think that there's a nigga out there that's straight like we are, but he wants his son to be gay? I'm pretty sure. Like I'm talking about, like <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're like, yo, man, he go get, he gonna have so many advantages. I want my son to be gay. I'm broke. Man. Maybe, 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 maybe if he don't want to have grandkids. If you so don't want you that want issue, your son to be gay because you don't want to have grandkids. Something like that. Yeah. That's narcissism. <laughs> 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 For real. I got to be the man in the house. <laughs> God, make my son back. I mean, make my son gay. <laughs> I don't want to take. I don't want to take care of my kids, and I don't want to take care of his kids. Yeah. So I'm a deadbeat, but I come around every every you know month and a half. And hey, man, you you think about being gay or what? <laughs> baby? What's going on? <laughs> I'm to talk his son into taking. Okay. It's just. You start messing around with them girls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, son. What about taking dick? What, you ever thought about that? <laughs> the what? Do you need to leave them I damn know. girls alone? Hey, ain't no babies in taking dick. Ain't no babies in taking dick. We went too far for <laughs> 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 milk. Time. Any nigga that let his wife run him, you want yeah. your son to be gay? Wow. These niggas don't be knowing though. You the, want your son to be gay if you're letting your woman run you in front of him. You're saying, son, yeah. I want you to marry a nigga. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you're saying when you're a punk in your own household, uh, nigga. Uh, 
some niggas don't know they punks in their household. Right, right. Is that something? <laughs> wow, shit. We do two hours on that, I bet, yeah. man. I if you're trying to change this YouTube channel right now, you a punk <laughs> in your household. <laughs> if you turn the volume down because it's too loud, you ain't got your headphones you in. You a punk in your household. <laughs> You better not let your woman tell you, shut the fuck up in front of your son. You know why? Because yeah. you want him to be a punk. Yeah. Uh, you better not never turn down Craig Facts because your woman's around. Tell more people about this. We're strengthening the black community through this psychological analysis of everything. <laughs> of everything. <laughs> be empowered, brother. Be empowered. <laughs> yeah, man. I think somebody could want to control you so bad that they would wish the very worst on you. Wouldn't it be fucked up to have a parent like that? Because that's what it is. If a if a straight man wants his son to be a punk, that's what it is. That's somebody who who feels like uh, what they want for you is better than what you want for you. Damn, that's that's kind of crazy though because that's almost the same thing as if you if you hustling. And you want your son to hustle, even though you know that that's a, a, a bullshit situation because all the danger you're going through, or if you want to raise your son to be in the gang or a life of crime, you know, it's almost the same shit. You it's set deeper him up. than that to me, man, because yeah. you want your son to be the total opposite of everything you stand for. If you're used to hustling all that, you, right. yeah, that's one thing. Right. But you ain't never used to tickle tushy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, to want him yeah. to do that, but that's the total Did opposite of what you stand for, you? though. That's the total opposite of what. Wait, 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 Todd, Todd. But the hustling ain't opposite of what you stand. No, no, no. For. But if hustling you, is like you change your life now. But you, but you, like you said, you want your son to be the opposite of everything you stand for. No, 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 so no. If you no. stand for being straight, you then don't you want like, your son to be the opposite of what you stand for. Oh, okay. Who, who, I thought that's what I thought you just said. I was like, oh, this nigga tripping. I want my son not to be shit. No, I don't. You're right. Yeah, exactly. I want my son not to be a motherfucking thing, but a piece of shit. That's what I want my kid. I want my kids to be nothing. Yeah. yeah. Your actions can say that. Yeah. Even yeah. though your words don't. Right. Yeah. Right. That's the sad part, too, is because a lot of dudes have no idea. See, a lot of dudes is like, you know what? I'm not finna fight my wife, man. I want to keep shit down in the house. I want to keep it cool. I don't want to. But indirectly, they saying they want their son to be a punk. Yeah, that's what they want. You know what I'm saying? saying you saying you want your son to be a punk. When, you, when your son grow up seeing the woman laying down the law, all kids play games, you know what I'm saying? So they be finessing, but if if they they going they gonna finesse whoever the boss is, you know what I'm saying? Right. Whoever they really gotta right. finesse. Yeah. And if they boss is a woman, then they gotta finesse in a in a way that a woman understands, that makes which is weak. which is do some whole shit. Right. Right. That's the only thing that she gonna understand and recognize is some whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah. so now you're gonna have him going through life thinking he gotta get ahead. Doing whole shit. Doing whole shit. You know what I'm saying? No, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a great. So, so unfortunate. Analysis. So unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, man. You you basically saying you want your son to be a punk, man. Yeah. Man. Uh, Raise your what kids. What you got for us, Ty? Oh man. So NBA news um, with the Kevin Garnett trade request. There is a sneaky situation out there with uh, Golden State. KD is now saying that he's not against going back to Golden State, and Golden State is now saying that they're not against having KD back. Also, um, Draymond Green has changed his tone. Before it was, we didn't really need KD to win those championships. Now he's saying KD was a very instrumental part of what you know of our championships. So I'm just saying, with those things being said. Watch out for KD and Golden State. That could, that's a possibility. It's something that could happen. The same team keeping every every key player, keeping uh, Keep, Steph, Steph, Clay, Clay, Draymond, Draymond and then everybody. No, else, no, no. y'all can move. No, Andrew, Andrew Wiggins. Every, Wiggins, that, Wiggins might go for KD. That'd be dumb. Like for, that would be dumb. That'd be dumb. Would you trade Draymond Green for KD? I would. Why? For KD on Golden State, I would do it because that that culture of shooting and, and making great shots is something that KD fits into. You get more scoring than you would get with Draymond. You might not get all the passing, but you will get more scoring. Okay. What about you? No, no. Why not? To trade – Draymond for KD. Yeah. I wouldn't mess up. I mean, if I'm going to state, the team works the way it's working. I don't need KD. I, I don't need this high-profile player just because he's Kevin Durant. 
fuck him. Yeah. He stay where he at. He was on a team once before. I mean, if so be if if the op- if the stars align and opens up a trade comes through, yes. But don't put any extra effort to try to change what you already got going. You just won a championship. Why do we need to bring KD here? Okay. I like that. Are we back on? We're good. Oh, okay. We're back yes, on. Yes, sir. What you got for us, uh, Todrick? Man, um, Brittany Griner writes a letter, a heartfelt letter to the president, mm. Joe Biden. She did? She got a mustache? She's care about gay bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Brittany, you're black and you're gay. They're yeah. not going to read the letter. <laughs> they read the letter. If you was just gay, they might read the wow. letter. But since you're black, they're going to think a monkey wrote it. Like, who, who, who taught this monkey how to fight for her rights? Like, they don't care about us, Brittany. You got a double whammy. You're better off writing the Crips. They might come get you. Because the Kremlin is, they write, they bang blood. It's red all over Russia. So you might be able to go get one of the CC riders or or one of the Crip Nation niggas that had paperwork slid under their bunk and they and they and and they one of them niggas. But the white people Man. No. Yeah, I mean, they're not coming. They heard you was a deadbeat stud. Lil Bow Wow probably come for a white nigga come. <laughs> Lil Bow Wow and Lisa Ray Mike, they got a better chance of saving you. <laughs> Cause they can go to the players club and they can get a bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> Dollar bill, homies. <laughs> and I write a letter to Kim Kardashian white people or somebody. Ain't Kim, maybe. Well, Kim Kardashian yeah. might come get yeah, her. Yeah, you better hit she up Kim. Ain't come. Man, Kim. it's it's fucked up because she fuck wrote a letter. But she fucks with basketball players, right? Yeah, but she, if she, my thing is, if she wrote this letter to the president, how do reporters know what it say? Did y'all right. give it to the president? Y'all well, opened this letter and read it. <laughs> right. Y'all read the shit before it got the, to it. Her best chance she is two copies is ask a request in a basketball court to be put in her cell and then having a film crew film her dunking. Yeah, yeah. Send that and say I'm one of the only bitches in the world that could do this. Please uh, let me out. On they, they got her then. That's business. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get traded to the Orlando Magic or something. Yeah. We have one-on-one battles. Look, if all present. it took was for you to give her some dick for them to let her out, would you fuck Brittany Griner? No. <laughs> Damn, you a cold <laughs> piece. You a cold Damn. piece, man. I, 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 he said no. part of the reason she that the was, cost of dick is doubled. Right. He said no. All this, all this, all this uh, homosexuality with women. You don't that's, think you can fuck it out of her? I've been pissing real niggas off. You don't think you can fuck the lesbian out of Britney? <clears throat> I think so. And you don't even want to try? No. For the country? No. For the WNBA basketball? She, she don't do nothing for the country. <laughs> 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 Nigga, she's an Olympian. Yeah. WNBA basketball. <laughs> yeah. Don't do nothing for the country. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a little something. You think Blaze Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday morning games, man. Yeah. So she, this bitch would have to be like a sniper that's killing dignitaries for you to do that with her. I don't know. That's not was, enough for the country? No. You wouldn't hit that Brittany Griner from the back? He is smashed Brittany Griner. Yeah, he smash Brittany Griner. He smashed smash Brittany Griner, man. Basketball shoes on and everything. He, dreadlocks man. everywhere. This nigga stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga move her balls to the side <laughs> and tear that pussy out. <laughs> <laughs> you tear that chocolatey <laughs> pussy out. He's skinny, too. Uh, what is this mud in your pussy? He's <laughs> he <is laughs> now it's the ass. He calling it a pussy. What is this mud? <laughs> but you got mud in your pussy. You know that? <laughs> Yo, no, that's, would you that? and the, the nigga be like, "This is a nigga's ass. This ain't mud." And he would still keep fucking. How would you, yeah. Craig? How would you feel if you let Britney Griner ride you and she started getting aggressive <laughs> with the ride? Griner ride me. <laughs> 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 shut up, shut up, Craig. Yeah, like you get too right. You shut try up, some take this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine that. <laughs> Bitch, trying to beat t- me up. Talking <laughs> all that hoop talk. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you better you <laughs> Bitch, you better let me up. You better let me up. <laughs> You're like, I see in the way them shorts went up your ass when you dunked. <laughs> Take this. Why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> you got me pinned up against the wall. <laughs> Bitch, you my better, back. My back. You better stop. <laughs> Bitch, you better stop. <laughs> you better not make me come. Bitch, you better not. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> yeah. talk this on Craig Fast. Yeah. <laughs> Swirly morale. 
hit it with the swirly thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that would be a mind fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I subscribe to that. <laughs> did, did you being too rough? You trying to? Yeah. Did you so, ain't fucking me. Yeah. <laughs> Want to catch the whole episode? How did you feel? Look on uh, follow Craig, Craig Smith on Patreon. What'd you say? You can catch the whole video on Patreon. Who are you talking to? Get your friend. Bluetooth. I don't know what the fuck. This story This story disorder. They got a narcissist. Invisible crowd of people right here. And y'all right here. Fuck you up. Wow. They booing him. It's 12 niggas over there booing me. You don't see him? They booing him. Fuck y'all. Oh, my God. If you can see niggas booing you that ain't there, I mean, you about to quit. It's 26,000 people booing me right there. Right there. Right there. All of them. You know what I hate? I go through. Niggas booing me all day. Oh, my goodness. Dismal boo. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. It's so loud, I get dizzy. You know how like plenty oh of a plethora goodness. of booze. There's two niggas playing the accordion, and the other five are born. <laughs> that means you about to quit comedy. Like you yeah. about to quit. You a day away from quitting. Yeah, man. <laughs> Hanging it all up. Man. Go back to work, man. man. Oh man, it's two gay uh, inmates in the same shackles. How the fuck <laughs> they get two niggas? <laughs> <laughs> and they're booing me. That, that, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they on their way to gay jail and they're booing me. Yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this. I'm pretty bad. That's terrible. You got a Waldo sweater. There's an audience <laughs> booing me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. Yeah. Oh, shit. That is too funny. That's, that's why. Can't escape the booze. You can't. What you got for us, Blaze? So, uh, a Rhode Island senator, Tierra Mack, Uh-oh. has been under a lot of fire, man. She's been online. Uh, She's online twerking upside down, shaking her ass with a thong up it. And uh, it was kind of a, a, a vote for me kind of thing. Yeah. That's, yeah. Think about that, man. That's crazy. Did you and see that, it? Yeah, I saw that. that that's. She's not going to win. Like, well, she's asking. She's already been elected, so she's going for re-election. Yeah, that's. That, I didn't. I don't know about that, man. The, the ass shaking. I'm all for ass shaking. It looks great, but um, I don't think that's going to get you any more votes. Yeah, what if she's? What if she's saying? You telling me ass shaking don't get you votes? What the hell? Shit. I mean, ass shaking gets you votes. I was probably going to vote if I was living that. I probably would have voted for her anyway, just because she's black, but. You start shaking ass, I don't think it's going to make me like, oh, now I really want to vote for you. Because you're not going to be shaking ass when you get in the office. But that ass is going to be shaking when she's in office. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. You can't it, hide that. Well, if she it? promises on her campaign to continue to shake ass, <laughs> then you get the vote. But if you're going to stop. I think that was a silent promise right there. Okay, Look, well that's then. what you can expect. Yeah, well then I'll vote. Then that was did, a silent promise. Then we voting. Hmm. I was so high, I didn't hear what the nigga asked. What, oh, is, what oh, are y'all dude. talking about? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, ask Otto. Go ahead, ask Otto, see what kind of answer you get. Yeah. What, what, what's going on here, Otto? <laughs> he said, the man said, uh, some some sinner, some politician. A stripper. Some politician <laughs> who's out running. State, state senator, Tierra she's, she's a politician. Right. She's out here campaigning for a re-election. Yes. And she's out here twerking. Right. For votes, right? Just let her twerk, twerk for votes. I mean, yeah, shit. I agree. The, yeah, don't stop the work. But yeah. yeah, but then there's the other thing about her. You know, she's a a, a part of the alphabet crew, so she's LB. Oh, damn. Whatever that other stuff is, oh, too, right? Wow. Good looking woman. Did you know that part? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Does that count though? I it's mean, that's all signals, man. No. Well, Does that count? It's still ass though. But no, no, no. If if we stop there, then there's no problem. But we ain't stopping there. You know, I'm lining y'all up. She also. She's also out here uh, 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 campaigning for a queer inclusive education. So you know they was talking about these transgender reading to our kids and in schools and blah blah <laughs> blah. blah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she she's in total support of that. Okay. You know, queer inclusive education. What do you think about that? Are they just reading to the kids? They reading like? Have, gay people have ever been excluded from education? Right. I've never been in one class and the teacher said. 
Uh, that's lesbian. Get this bitch out of here. So <laughs> <laughs> she don't know this <laughs> yeah. math. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's. I've more. never heard of LGBTQ <laughs> being excluded from education. <laughs> right. well, Who wants to read in class? Uh, you? Uh, uh-uh. get I'm the fuck out. I'm not teaching this nigga shit. He's a punk. <laughs> I, I think they were. More read it straight. Know. Read it straight. <laughs> Punks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think they were Fire. more focused on the the the. The transgenders, because just yeah. just homosexual is hard to point them out sometimes. Right. But a transgender, does that change anything for you? If a transgender reading for your kids in school, I they can read. A bitch with a mustache, I still know she's a bitch. Please, right? But is that okay? So you can't hide that. <laughs> transgender. <laughs> transgender in itself is. I'm the fuck, I'm fuck I mean, you can that. read to the you can read to the kids. You okay with that? Sure. What book are you reading? Are you are you reading well, just some regular shit? So you cool? You like a Huckleberry Finn? Hold on. You just cool with that? It's happening. So it doesn't even matter. It's it's no, no, already we're happening. What's happening? We saying, are you cool with this man? You know what? You know what? Trans transgenders are, are are performers. Like right. you know, they in, they in nightclubs, strip clubs with, with ass. <laughs> shit, they <laughs> only performers. Yeah, they perform. So it ain't no. no you talking about drag queens? No transgender yeah. police. Officers. He meant drag queen. He meant drag queens. Oh, oh you mean drag? Oh. oh. Drag queens, okay. Oh. Thank you, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, trans am yeah. yeah. like, yo, they done already went through the same. with a trans am. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, nigga, yeah. drop the money out. <laughs> <laughs> no, drag queens, you're right. Drag queens. You okay with a drag queen reading your kids? RuPaul. Are they, so they dressing up as They're in drag, drag coming in, performing like. No, 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 no. They ain't performing. They just reading. But they drag queens. You know drag queens. RuPaul coming in in the dress, reading, reading uh, uh, Hop on Pop. <laughs> hop on Pop. <laughs> is that a green light or no? Yeah. Bruh, it's, yeah, man. It's, it is what it is, bro. It's, it's a different world than what we grew up in, and that shit's happening. Like, they're going to find a way to make that happen, whether so, you're okay with it or so not. So some gonna, man mm-hmm. leaving a club 3 o'clock in the morning with other Gay men and women, and we know what's in there. It's right. drugs and <laughs> sex, and we know what's in there. You put the cigarette down and, and you pick up the book to read to your kids. You can't, uh, Blaze. You can't. You, you can't judge a, a, a person. I'm just asking. No, I'm, a question. I'm, I'm, no, I'm saying you can't judge a human being. I say job. That's how they make their money. Would you let a uh, drag queen babysit your son? No. Why not? What 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 could it? <laughs> 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 Drag queen put cinnamon toast crunch in the bowl like everybody else. <laughs> he was finna say some ignorant shit. He was finna say some ignorant shit. <laughs> oh man, we got it's a day shift. It's a conflict of interest. It's a day shift. It ain't no, you know, it's a day shift. Spending the night or nothing, but just you know, putting cookies in the oven and shit like that. Oh, okay, that's what you do. Making a potato salad, Miss Doubtfire. Play is gonna beat up Mr. Six Fingers Fingers over there booing you again right now. (laughs) Would you let a a stripper babysit your son? No. A a female stripper? No. A retired stripper. (laughs) Oh, yeah, don't do that. What about a madam? uh, Strippers are are, are not on the top of uh, any parental list. I mean, you know, they're they're usually not great parents. Well, what if you never knew, though? (laughs) What if you didn't know? Historically. Historically speaking. <laughs> what if it's a babysitting service and, and it's, it got a bunch it's of stars true. and you didn't know that she was stripping back in the day to you, fund this business? You asking the wrong person. I don't, play, bunch with, of stars. I don't play with babysitting <laughs> services. <laughs> when, when my kid is born for the first year or two, they're not even going out nowhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't do all that, man. I got to yeah. <laughs> I got to do it myself. Myself is the worst case. That's the most laugh you're going to get out of me. Play, you at home Would you take ass? your daughter to a daycare and all men work there? No. Actually, me? No. Well, no. You'd let, no. you let a drag queen read. Read. Kids, yeah, read. But you want to take your, your daughter to all male school. <laughs> Well, yeah, staff. Yeah, no, well, not out there. But why not? A man can read just <laughs> no, as good as a woman. No, not out there. You sound crazy, but do I sound crazy? crazy? You're talking, you're talking you, about you're talking you about, you about a drag. You won't take his daughter to a daycare with men. Well, all men in there. Why let, not? But let, let a drag, drag queen <laughs> come to her school. <laughs> but look, we're talking about a drag <laughs> queen. Cigarette balls in his mouth. <laughs> why not? We're talking. We're talking about a drag queen. We're talking about a drag queen coming to the school as a as a special guest and reading, or dropping her off. 
in a building full of men. Daycare? It, why not? It, no, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, not out there. Who's Punisher. to say a daycare full of women that these women ain't touching these kids? A bunch of motherfuckers sitting up in there. We about to watch these kids. Just go ahead and drop them you off know over what I'm there. Saying? Like the men. I mean, the girls ain't innocent. Yeah, nah. yeah, I'm cool. I'm not doing so that. You, so you drop your son off <laughs> to a daycare full of women? Yeah, that's practice. Yeah, you ain't, yeah. Why? For sure. So you you let your, you drop your son off in a line of fire, yeah. but not your daughter. I, I don't got no son, so whatever happens, happens. You oh, out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you might get lucky. You let daddy know who in there fucking. Yeah, it happens. It happens. You're crazy. But yeah, nah, you crazy. Yeah, I'm Just crazy. Daycare and all niggas work there. Some other shit going on. That's what I'm saying. I'm not doing that. There's some life changing. That's what I'm saying. All men everywhere. No, the janitor's a dude. Everybody's a dude up in there. I mean, that's that's, that's that the work they got. I mean, <laughs> homosexuality. Yeah, or something. Is what they Bunch of niggas with beards up in there. <laughs> you, you said to all men, take care. Mm. Yeah. They go, that's crucial. Would you take your son to all male daycare? <laughs> and just drop him off. <laughs> that ain't entire crazy. Up in, yeah, see, Blaze ain't fucking around. See, see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you talking about one drag queen reading yeah. in front of everybody versus cool, a man. locked door mm. facility, yeah. bunch of niggas I with ain't cool with none of this shit. Glistening beards, <laughs> the building full of men. The Bring them up in here. Just, the, I ain't with none of the funny. <laughs> That's far enough, Blaze. You can't come past this door. Just drop uh, yourself uh, off over here. Like, what oh, time yeah. I got to come back? Five o'clock. Five thirty. Five forty-five. Let me say. Take, it'll take you to notice. They, they don't know bitches working this thing is. Oh, yeah. Well, nigga, come up greeting. Hey, what's up, man? You, you know, got your kid here, your daughter. All right. How old is she? Uh-uh. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Mr. But she Kelly. Go for a while before you actually notice it. Right. Like, brother, no. you knew. Like, Are y'all dropping your daughters off and just letting her walk up in the building? Y'all not going up in there? daycare where you met the whole staff the first day. It's never happened. Never. You be everybody, everybody who's supposed to be up in. Yes, you're supposed to. No, every, Nick, when we went to, else, you got different shifts. Everybody. When we went to, day. when we went to, when we were looking for a um, uh, a school for my daughter before, I guess it was like monastery school, kind of like a daycare. We went to one, and it was this old Mexican lady sitting on the ground, like they were all asleep, but she was like petting the kids. And I'm like, yo, this don't seem right. Like you got to go meet the people before you drop your kid off, depending on what age it is. We talking about some boys club shit. Then well, I'm talking that's about different. All. The whole staff. Yeah, the whole staff. It's never happened, Ty. No, no, I ain't meet the whole staff. But the representatives, if y'all just got seven dudes up here, like, yo, we're, oh, ain't no if, females up in here, bro? Uh, Hell no. Nah. I'm asking. <laughs> we don't fuck around. Yeah, exactly. We talk. We saying the same thing. But I'm saying, what am I saying? <laughs> You're saying that you would not drop your son, your <laughs> kid off what at an all-male daycare. <laughs> we set up as an all-male, we, and we calling it all-male daycare, like... Nah, take that word care it'd, out of there. It'll be a month else. before you knew what was really going on. They better call it basketball camp or something, but if you call it a daycare, <laughs> my kid can't go. <laughs> they got to call it basketball camp. <laughs> they got to call it football man. practice. Yeah. That's what they got to call Yeah, you it. can do that. Football is a hotbed for homosexuality. <laughs> Tackling and so chasing. It's, so, it's, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drag a motherfucker down and he don't want to go down. <laughs> so it's okay. Force a nigga to the ground. <laughs> Every time, if it takes three, why are you forcing niggas to the ground, right. son? Right, he that's what football stop. is. It's yeah. forcing niggas to the ground. To the ground. And he tell you to stop. He straight arming you. You knocking that down. Forcing niggas to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> football is for, to God is probably the gay as a motherfucker. <laughs> why are my creations forcing each other to the ground? I wish that was. <laughs> <laughs> First they grope each other. Yeah. yeah, and then they grab right, his, right up under his ass and all yeah. that, and then other mother niggas jump on top of him. Yeah, uh. look. And the thing, is, the thing is, he don't like it. He tried to stop it. That's why it be right. raining. He's like, let me throw some rain down there. Maybe they stop. No, they ain't stopping. They they tackling st- in the rain. They sliding, <laughs> sliding on top of each other. Then <laughs> they're going to bend over in front of two niggas <laughs> and <laughs> kick a ball over their asses. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> and they kicking balls over asses is the mother. <laughs> have, you, have you thought about that? The quarterback got to be the gayest one because he's putting his hands Right underneath the man's crotch. One nigga woke up to her ass like and put his hands on it. Under the ass. The back have you, of the hands. Have you thought about the field goal? Right? <laughs> you kicking the ball straight, right? <laughs> straight up the, through the nigga crack and through the damn uh, upright. His asshole. <laughs> Goal pole is an asshole. Yeah. It's a Greek sport about asses. <laughs> Yeah. That's what football is. <laughs> football, the Greek football. It's a Greek ball. ass sport. Football is a Greek yeah. ass sport. Uh-huh. Root word, root word, ball. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Football is football. a hotbed. A hotbed. Oh, oh, Niggas screaming at you when you don't do the right thing. Coaches <laughs> all in your face, grabbing yeah. your face mask, ass slapping. 
Yeah. You know it's a sport wow. uh, that's not a hotbed for homosexuality? What? Keep them to your motherfucking self. <laughs> if you don't play sports, you ain't got to deal with it. <laughs> no sport, outlaw sport. <laughs> Keep to yourself, yeah. man. Football is a trap. It's, a, it's that, off it's, top. The quarterback, man. The quarterback yeah. is the gayest sus, suspect, gayest player on the team. Right. Think, and think he of, is purposely putting every down. He takes his hand, back <laughs> of his knuckles, and places against another man's balls. It, the center too. The both of them niggas. Is that why you got them gloves on? No, I didn't play those <laughs> positions. <laughs> yeah. Ball protection. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? Condoms on his finger. The quarterback is, is running. Is running the, the the gay show. He throwing the ball to the man he want to see tackle. Mm. This is amazing. Throw <laughs> 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 him to the ground. Yeah, yeah, him yeah. to the ground. <laughs> oh, you way down there? I'll get you to the ground. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Throw him to the ground. I got you. I'm gonna just hand it to you. You go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I ain't gonna do it to you. Yeah. You let them choose who force. You choose who force you to the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna, you let, my you, I'm gonna let you take me down. I'm forcing me to the ground, please. Yeah. Yeah, you three over there. I'm coming your way. Yeah. Your football never be the same again. Uh, this, nigga, this nigga back out the uh, test down at the one yard line. Like I want to get tackled. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, right. Fuck these right. points. Right. Fuck these. These points. The, the, uh, the, the play ain't over. Until somebody <laughs> touch you too. So if you ain't right. even touched, the clock's still going. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. Nobody's touched him. Touch him. Uh, Whoever. <laughs> <laughs> put your hands on him. <laughs> you force him down. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is crazy. Oh, whatever oh. NFL player got the least amount of touchdowns. It's yeah. punk. Oh man, it's a punk. You don't want to go there. So. <laughs> no. no, that's safety. I don't. Oh, want the to be one, safe. the person who does, who does, who gets tackled the least is the straightest person. Everybody yeah. else who get tackled the most is gay. That's right. Well, so we right. solved that. That's what football is all about. And if the if it's a fumble, everybody gets to just dive on each other. Uh, that's wild, man. Yeah. That's why I don't play football. That's, that's why, why I quit. That's why some of these guys, you know, st stick out like like Marshawn Lynch. That's why he a beast. Get off my butt. You ain't get this butt here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You it's the only straight nigga in the game. You know what I'm saying? Avoid tackles. Yeah, avoid tackles. Straight niggas avoid tackles. <laughs> yeah. Non-straight niggas get tackled. Hey. Yeah. It's life. All Barry, life. It's Barry life. Sanders, straight. Uh, Barry Sanders uh, is straight. He, uh, he middle got get tackled. Little middle linebacker is the gayest motherfucker. <laughs> 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 400 career tackles? Okay, brother. Uh, oh, you just keep taking niggas down. <laughs> oh, that's what you going to do. you going to keep yeah. taking niggas down. <laughs> and going back to the huddle. I'm done. I'm ready Chasing to Chasing them play. down from the backside. <laughs> Somebody ought to be paying attention to us, man. This is how you should pick your players. Yeah. You go to a gay club or something. Him right there. Oh, he look like he'll take some. That's all pro. Yeah, you're all, all pro. pro. That nigga's all, all pro. That nigga's all pro. All he, pro. I think, I think our kids are all pro. Wow. <laughs> he might be wow. a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Hall of Famer. Yeah. If you want to make a dynasty, you got to draft five gay people. Yeah. That's what you got to do if you want to be a good football yeah. team. That's blasphemous. Take New you direction. Down. Take you, you down. Yeah. yeah. Taking niggas down, chasing niggas down, <laughs> tackling them, holding them down, holding yeah. uh, <laughs> pass interference, all of that. Oh, the gayest man. players you need at a position, you need a gay nose guard, and, and a middle gay linebacker. middle linebacker, yeah. a gay Strong safety. And a gay coach. You need a gay coach. <laughs> <laughs> to, to direct the mother gay guy. Get him. You got to get him down. Go get him. <laughs> yes. You coming out. You, you ain't tackling nobody. You're not taking enough niggas down. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're losing. That is why we're losing. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we're losing. <laughs> Football is a hotbed for homosexuality. We proved yep. it. Uh, yep. That's why I quit when I was nine. <laughs> We're gonna wrap up this episode button on that one of Craig Facts. It's been funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not, not, not that funny. <laughs> Blaze hates it. Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we it's found out like God it. is okay with a drag queen reading, reading to his son yeah. or his daughter, Hot, yeah. but he's not okay with taking his daughter to an all boy daycare. That's some weird shit. Yeah. That's how is that, that weird? Is that weird. seems that yeah. seems very logical. You guys in the chat, leave a, a comment and let me know, man. That, am I tripping? <laughs> you all, man, really tripping. Sixteen dudes working at the daycare. Yeah, just go ahead and just drop her off right here, Craig. We'll, <laughs> we'll take care of her. <laughs> What's her name? No matter. It don't matter. Yeah. But that, it should be a no on both of them with right. that logic. But it's a no. Oh, you you say it. I 
I let a weird nigga get close to my mother and no, kid. One, at, you know, one, at a school. One, one man dressed in a dress with lipstick on, a cigarette in his mouth. <laughs> right here, Ty, that's okay. Two <laughs> feet from your son. <laughs> <laughs> Two feet but from your son. But these other niggas who all just, they I just pitch, like helping kids. I pictured my son being in the reading circle, sitting a couple rows back. I ain't wasn't front row uh-huh. ticket. But that one person, <laughs> <laughs> one person reading versus leaving your daughter in a in a building yeah. for said, four hours. He said, my son gonna be in the back. I'm raising an idiot. I know he ain't gonna be the back. What, what, what if the daycare what if, what if the daycare is ran by an all boys school? If your you know, son gets a uh, uh what, what's these motherfuckers called again? Uh transvestites autograph, is he gay? Try clean. Damn, he's they got a, he wouldn't seek the autograph he out of the He wanted EJ's <laughs> autograph. He's 15. Wow. RuPaul's is, autograph. Is, wow. Coming from that school you dropped him. Right. Over. RuPaul's so autograph. never took you to that school, son. So never let you play football. If you take him to that day, if you if you take him to that daycare, he's gonna be asking for niggas autograph. Yeah, the daycare is worse. That's why I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't take my son to the to the daycare. Or my daughter to the all male daycare with the niggas with glistening beards. <laughs> 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 Just drop her off right here. We'll get her back. What time should I come back? Six, six forty five. Hey, whatever. She's the only bitch on her job. She worked somewhere as all niggas. You cool with that? No. <laughs> Why not? It's your wife. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Listen, she, she is legally attached to you. You don't yeah, worry about nothing. All dudes, what is she doing up in there with all dudes? She working. I'm not mature enough. I'm up in there tripping. <laughs> I'm up in there tripping. You shouldn't have got married, man. I come up in there you fake gang banging every day. <laughs> Who all up in here? What, what, what happened? What, what happened? What happened if, if all the other women got terminated and your wife's still there? She got to quit too. Why you doing your job so damn good? Everybody, all other women got fired for it's saying not, no, for not taking dick you, on break. But you don't find this out. Till she, you don't. You don't find this out till she till she gets a raise. Did she get a raise? Yeah, you don't find this out till she gets a raise. She's, and she you got back. a raise, you quitting tomorrow. You, what? Really? You no, know, you're lying you to yourself. You know how much and how long your wife been turning down dick, and you wouldn't trust her on some petty jobs. She been turning down dick since she was 12 years old, man. <laughs> so she got titties and you know start developing. They've been dick dodging for a long time, and uh, you dick dodging. Okay, you won't it? work for it. <laughs> <laughs> Praise her. She wow. can't go to work with all men. All men? No. Yeah. You let you let your woman go to work with all men? She, she, That's called my woman going to get some money. I don't know who there. I know that check coming. Oh, you don't know who there. So yeah, you just whoever, if it's all men, if it's all women, she's not there to to to, to, to play no sexual games or, right. unless she is. But she ain't there for that. She there to get some money and some little dick on the side. If she got enough time, if my woman got enough time to get some dick. After carrying out all my orders, yeah. she deserves it. Oh, okay. Yeah. She deserves some dick. All right. She oh. snuck some dick in in the middle of running my errands, cooking my dinner, preparing my clothes, and raising my kid. She deserves that. Blaze would be I'm not devastated. mature enough. Blaze would be devastated. Yeah, devastated. Yeah. Somebody else dick down your you woman, Blaze, you'll be. You don't see them cuts he covering up with them tattoos? <laughs> 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 That nigga got the shit out of here. The cutter. The arm cutter. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Ask me the other question. I'm going to need another tattoo. Ask me if she went to work with all these men and came back home and there wasn't no money. Oh, uh, yeah. Could, now, now we got a problem. Could, could you could you date a porn star? If your wife was an active porn star, you I mean, you yeah. pretty solid. Yeah. So she comes home like, "Yo, this was a it was a rough day. It was a gang yeah. bang. I didn't know that it was going it was going to be that many people." Do you, they I said, some th- "Regular dick, fuck me." Uh, yeah. Do you know <laughs> you know how stress free that environment would be? That oh, would be stress free. Hell yeah. She got nut crust under Ray her eyes. She, like she been fucking all day, baby. She take, showers right after she gets imagine, off to work. You can give her thirty seconds when she been fucking all day. She ain't even tripping. She like, you uh, good, baby? That's, I'm good. We done. That's okay. crazy. I don't have that it's kind of mental. Would be a wife a porn star. No, I would, wouldn't. Why not? Okay, yeah, that brother's yeah. strong. Yeah. Fuck own, that! She, I couldn't she, do it. Would she? Okay, would she be? You know, professional. I'll tell or have you what. Fans. Some of you niggas been girlfriend and porn stars and didn't know them, and they yeah. and they don't get the glorified title porn star because right. porn is a job. They make money. Exactly. Some of y'all been fucking sluts and girlfriend. Uh, right. And sluts. But that's different though. But that's a, a that porn star. Different. No, a, yeah, it is different. It's it different. is. It is different. But I don't. I mean, yeah, I, a, fuck a slut. Hell no, no, a porn star. You you know that she is. You already know that she's, she's doing. So she comes home from work like yo. 
I thought it was gonna be some regular shit. A bunch of white boys were spitting on me, it's and you know it's, a, it's 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 been a rough day. Right. You got to comfort that. She's Jump in manager. the shower, rinse that rough shit off, and get in here and fix this dinner. Yeah. That nigga crazy. Yo, you got a heart of stone, it's nigga. Nigga's <laughs> wild. A porn star is taken. Then the average bitch. Right. I get that. Cut and do it again what in different that, angles in the music. Mean, though? <laughs> you a lot, nigga. What what if what if your new girl? She got fucked by a porn star. She got a different level of dick. Does that? Who cares? It's not on DVD. Yeah. It probably it might be a job, nigga. Right. <laughs> it's in the vault. For a job, nigga. See you later, Blaze. I'm going to work. Yeah. Go I'm get fucked. Job minded bitches. <laughs> she's 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 an athlete, bro. That's what athletes that's, do. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all niggas is wild. It's an athlete, bro. Porn star, athlete. certified porn star. Athlete, bro. It's a sport. Listen, baby, if you getting money for that cookie, that's all right with me. Real professional. I, mean, I know it, sluts. It, it ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm yeah. saying. You, so you can't take her serious. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you talking about my girlfriend? Yeah. Right. My girl. I can take it serious, man, because that's the most honest. We all in here, you know, dealing or dealt with girls in the very, very uh, near past. <laughs> in, some, in some cases, the future, that's a lying slut. Right. And that's the worst thing in the world is a slut to me. Right. That's the worst thing in the world because she's doing all that nasty shit you're talking about. And, and secretly. Yeah, secretly. Like, at least you can look at the tape and see exactly what she did. Could you watch it? Yeah. You could watch the video of her getting pounded uh, out by somebody why else? Why not? That's that, her job. That's a different story. I mean, I can look at it and not trip, but I'm not, oh, man, I gotta watch my wife taped it. I'm not. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I, not, I ain't gotta watch film unless we yeah. break it down right. her technique or something, then maybe, yeah. You'll right. break down technique with her? What? You just suck a dick like this. Hey, if this is her profession. She, <laughs> if this is her profession. She, she gotta get better. Attack the dick. You lazy on the dick. I'm with Otto. She, she gotta, gotta get, get better. better. We gotta so get this money. We ain't playing in this sport. We, we ain't here to be on the bottom. Right. A C grade porn star. We try to get A. Right. Get the chip and get up out. That's what I'm talking about. I'm with it. Sticking wiffle ball bats in her pussy. And you just. I've hit a porn bitch. I ain't gonna say her name. And the shit is overrated. Right. Well, so I'm, I'm. See, you can't. You approach it differently. She wasn't your business partner. You just smashed somebody that been that been ran through for a minute. What was wrong with Mary? it? Uh, I couldn't do that. Hell no, I couldn't. I I'm not that, mature enough. I think. I think you know how that, many bitches you have if your girl was a porn star? What does that mean? No, I, no, I don't know how many bitches. How I, many bitches would you I have if she's going to work to do porn? Like I that think, doesn't guarantee you extra bitches. It does. What's wrong with you? No, it, it does. It, how? It, how? It, it puts me in the game too. What game? You ain't a porn star. You don't get the fuck. None yes, of these bras. Yes, I guess it does. It puts me in the game too because you 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 don't think me and my wife is going. to Yes, we're gonna. Ha yes, we're gonna have it, a partner switch type thing. It's, go it's going down. It'll be a motherfucker sitting behind a desk like this, like, uh, Otto. We love what your woman's doing, but we're we're not fucking with you. That's and not, you can't be in the porn. That's not gonna happen because it's their it's their shoot. Once the, the, it's going down, once they once have you ever tried to walk on a shoot when somebody was already shooting and try to get involved? Yes. Does it always work? Do you get the main spot, or are you just kind of on outside? You don't have to be the main spot. You can be, as long as you're in there. You in there. So you'll be an extra in your wife's porno. No, in my own. Oh, we gotta get out of here. That's us. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't type a nigga uh, to fuck a bitch, but uh, never hit her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he been, he been, it's five years <laughs> in. <laughs> Take it, uh, Viagra. And yeah, fuck her armpit. It's time. Okay, cool. Look, that's been, this edible did its job today. <laughs> that's on, did, now, Fifteen minutes ago, and I've been fighting <laughs> that for a while now. <laughs> you know who these niggas is? Yes, sir. Tell them where they can find you. Yo, man, Uncle Todd Comedy Facebook, IG, Twitter. Check that. Check the comedy experience out. It's called I'm Out There. You know, what I'm saying I'm not calling it a comedy album no more. It's got Taco Tuesday, Blame the Bartender, and Headaches on there, man. Shout out to I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. Bad Boy Blaze, shout out to myself. That's double O B L Z at Instagram. Zero zero B L Z. Holla backwards. Peace. It's Autobots. You know it's Autobots when you see that smiley face logo. You know what you know the one with the crooked smile. Hope you guys enjoyed your human experience today. Uh we'll tap in with you on the next experience and uh, all the best until the next. Good life. That's been this episode of Craig Facts. Tune in tomorrow. Three thirty to six. I owe you something. Get it from God. God, God, God. God, 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 God. Yeah. <laughs>